Finance series. This is a free initiative from Vaish IAS. Uh, we are expecting good response for this. Please do like the video and comment in the video. Uh, if the response is not good, we might be uh, changing it to paid courses like any other institutions. Uh, this uh, we are going to see about the and the arts of Indus Valley Civilization part 2. Now let's get on to the video. The seals, um, the seals were also used in Indus Valley Civilization. These were found at the different ex uh, excavations and the mostly it was made of steatite and some seals were found of agate, shirt, copper, faience and terracotta also. Um, the seal is mostly comprised of animals figures such as unicorn, bull, rhinoceros, tiger, elephant, bison, goat. These were the primary uh, animals that is seen in the sea. The purpose was mainly commercial. Uh, it appears that uh, it was used as amulets by the people uh, to represent their owners. Now we use uh, modern day ID cards to show that I come from uh, some place, I am I work here, something like that. It might have been used uh, for that purpose also. And the standard size is 2 cross 2 square inches. It is made from steatite. Steatite has this standard um, uh, size of 2 cross 2 square inches. Every seal was engraved with a picto pictographic script which is not yet deciphered and some seals is found in ivory besides the steatite and other materials uh, they mostly uh, the the pictures found in the seals is of animals with the uh, where a bull with or without hump an elephant a tiger goat and also monsters sometimes humans and uh, Trees are also depicted in the sea. The figures and animals are carved on their su surfaces. So this this is how like once uh, the sea is produced, they just um, carve it on their surface and they use it for a and also besides the seas, we also see square or rectangular copper tablets. Uh, these have a uh, animal or fug human figure on one side and on other side an inscription is there and sometimes inscription on both side is also there we found that uh, these figures are uh, carefully cut and appear to have been ambulance just like seals which has been used as an identity identity cards modern day identity card this uh, square or rectangular copper tablets were also used similar to that um unlike inscriptions inscription inscription was uh, different in each c but in inscription on the copper uh, tablets uh, seem to be asso associated with the animals like because one side it was animal and another side one ins inscription was there with when we find an another uh, uh, copper tablet with the same uh, animal we see the same script there but these scripts have not been deciphered yet so we assume that this might have been linked to each other uh, one of the most uh, important or famous um, seal is the Pasupati seal which you see in the screen uh, this uh, screen is ha this uh, Pasupati seal has um, both uh, human and animal figures depicted uh, in this this human figure is cross-legged cross-legged you can see here it is this is the human figure it is uh, in a seated position of cross-legged uh, on the right side an elephant and a tiger is depicted an elephant and tiger is depicted on the right left side a rhinoceros and buffalo is depicted in addition to this uh, in the bottom uh, it is two antelopes are, are also shown uh, these seals date between 2500 and 1900 bce 
and is found in consider num considerable numbers it is in more quantity in uh, ancient city mohanjodaro it is found mostly many seals are found in mohanjodaro the next prominent art form of uh, in the sali civilization we are going to see is pottery uh, this this pottery uh, mainly made of uh, wheel made wares than handmade few handmade was also seen but major uh, we find is uh, wheel made uh, pottery and the plain pottery is more common than the painted ware uh, plain pottery is of red clay with or without a fine red or gray slip on the top and uh, it includes knobbed ware or ornamented with few few rows of knobs knobs is like something we hold it so that is also there for a uh, design also they do it or it includes uh, for pouring purpose or also and black painted ware has a fine coating of red slip uh, with geometric and animals this one you can see um, it is black colorly painted one with geometric slips like the semicircles uh, is there here so painted ware is rarely seen but it is uh, given a gloss uh, finished with a glossy look by black paint polychrome pottery polychrome is like many color pottery is rare but if it has it has um, red black and green but rarely white and yellow patterns are also seen Uh, pot. There are also other types of potteries like incised ware also is has been found. Incised ware is something that has hole in the bottom which has been used for uh, used which might have been used as uh, uh, stands for keeping the dishes in the bottom. Uh, so perforated pottery might have been used for something. This one is a perforated. You see here is a perforated one which has been used as modern day filter. We use. For straining the juices and tea, coffee, and all, we use filter. Something like that. It might have been used, as it has the hole, large hole at the bottom, and small holes all over the wall. It it is it it is purpose was to filter it, filter whatever the beverage we use in that. And pottery was found in different shapes and sizes, as it has been used for daily use. and the straight and angular shapes were exception because we don't find any um, vessels even today in the straight or angular shapes the gray school shapes like something like a pot or some vessel you'll always have some shapes uh, some some curves and all that is there in that uh, this pottery also miniature vessels were also found which might be used for kids to for play as we saw in terracotta we found toy cots also so this was this uh, half an inch less than um, uh, height pottery was also found which might have been used for kids for playing purpose this painted earthen jar was found in mohanjodaro it is made with the potter's wheel with the clay the shape the shape was manipulated by the uh, fingers of the potter after breaking the clay model it was painted with black color and then a high polishing was done to this finishing touch this looks lovely even today right the motifs and vegetable of these things is uh, the painted one is generally a geometric pattern there's no uh, other patterns found in the uh, thing uh, potteries mostly ge geometric forms is found This is very beautiful. We are going to see about the ornaments that the Harappan people wore. Uh, they both men and women wore lot of uh, ornaments, uh, necklaces, fillets, armlets, finger rings were commonly worn by both the sexes. Women wore girdles, earrings, and angles. Girdles are nothing but the hip, modern day hip chains we wear around the hip. women wear around the hip and earrings and anklets and hoards of jewelry as found at mohanjodaro and lothal 
these include uh, made of uh, necklaces made of gold and precious stones they made it with gold and precious stones and terracotta every material we we are able to see uh, copper bracelets is also seen copper beads is also seen gold uh, earrings head ornaments head ornaments is fans pendants fans is a a material uh, artificially made material uh, pendants buttons beads of steatite uh, we saw seals is also made from this steatite material and beads of made of steatite and gemstones uh, a cemetery that is found at farmana in haryana was also found with ornaments that is buried along with the dead bodies so they used to have ha, they might have had the habit of burning the ornaments once uh, burying the ornaments which they used the which the person used when they are dead also this might have been the reason for finding that and the uh, beads were also like found in uh, large quantities fr through from which they made the ornaments uh but the bead industry seems to have been well developed uh from the factories discovered in chaunthudaru and lothal these places we found we found the evidences of uh, having the bead industry uh, beads were made of carnelian amethyst jasper crystal quartz steatite turquoise lapis lazuli etc these are the material from which beads were made jewelry were made from gold and uh, other precious stones also but, but beads were made from this this is important to note and metals like copper bronze gold shell fans terracotta were also used for manufacturing beads these were also used for manufacturing beads as well as the ornaments uh beads has varying shape like disc shaped cylindrical barrel shaped segmented you can see here this is also beads this these are also beads of different they have different shapes a, this is also different shape this is semi circle this is like a long one so cylindrical long one this is there and the spherical one is like small 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 spherical shape beads were also there so sometimes beads were uh, beads were cemented together they were cemented together uh, and some were decorated by incising or painting some had designs etched on to some some beads has designs you can see here these has designs etched on them harappan pippan uh, brilli brilliantly made uh, naturalistic models of animal especially monkeys and squirrels and used it as pin heads and beads next we are going to see about the spinning industry uh, about the dresses they wore and the fashion they had spindle and spindle holes were uh, found in almost every houses I mean many houses that that shows that spinning of cotton was very common uh, spinning is indicated by the find of holes made of expensive fans and also of cheap pottery as well spinning is spinning holes was found in both the types of uh, either costly expensive one and also the cheap one uh, men and or men and women both or two separate pieces of similar attire like a dhoti and a shawl a shawl covered the left shoulder passing below the right shoulder just as we see the press uh, bearded man uh, statue in the first of this video the archaeological uh, kel finds show that they were uh, the indus valley people were conscious of the fashion it is an urban civilization and uh, they were also conscious of the fashion different hairstyles um, was also found Uh, wearing a bird was popular among all cinnabar was used as a cosmetic and face paint face paint is the makeup we use now we use uh, uh, different types of uh, makeup different brands of makeup that time it was only cinnabar a lipstick and coral coller, colorium 
were also known to them eyeliner was also they are also used uh, eyeliner uh, many structural remains found at dola vera show that uh, how indus valley people used stone in their construction like and subscribe uh, to our playlist um, do check out the other playlist available in this channel uh, do whatsapp to this number if you are a new upsc aspirant to know more about uh, the upsc test series and the key and keep you updated with our uh, vaishya channel uh, series thank you